this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another mini album project with you. This is a project that I created using the Doodlebug Designs brand new Kitten Smitten collection. I used the 12 by 12 paper pack as well as the ephemera pack and some enamel dots and stuff that match the collection as well. I created this project for my friend's birthday. So she has a little kitty and he's black and his name is Charlie. So this is going to be a birthday gift for her. The mini album is kind of big. But I wanted to get the four by six pictures in there, and it's eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and the spine is two and a half. So on the front cover, I used the cutouts from the ephemera pack, and I used a little black kitty here, put him on some foam tape, set him on the cute little pillow here, and this is a border sticker right here. These little hearts were from the ephemera pack, and I used some um, Winka Stella, the clear Winka Stella pen, and went over the top of them. Here's some more enamel dots. I took some chunky Maya Road twine and looped it through the cute little banners that were part of the ephemera pack as well. And then I attached those with dimensional adhesive right here. The little kitty scrabble words, I put them on some black cardstock and cut around them and then just layered them here on the front. So there's the front. And on the spine, I used one of the Tim Holtz jump ring fasteners and I found this cute little charm. Um, it has a C for Charlie, even though it does say courage on the back, but <laughs> I'm gonna have it say Charlie on there. And um, so I thought it matched the collection really well. It's kind of a pink, a dark pink, and then there's a little flower here and a little bead. And then here is the back. And on the back, I used two more of the border stickers and ran them across the bottom and another little sticker from the sticker sheet. So you open it up. And on the inside, I made a pocket with one of the four by six cards and I made some little, um, I had some leftover, just a few leftover papers. This was one of the ephemera cards. I put it on some black cardstock. I made a couple of tags using my Stampin' Up! Tag Topper Punch. This paper's so flippin' cute. Here's another one of the four by six cards, but I did cut it small. Um, and then I put some more design paper on the back of this. And again, cute little kitties, and I put white. I used a lot of white so she would know where to put the photos in here. But she's a scrapbooker, so she can figure it out, I'm sure. And then again, I had a couple more pieces of paper left. I love this one with all the words on it, so I just put that there and some design paper on the back. Here's a sticker from the sticker sheet, so it's sitting pretty. And then I made this a little belly band so she can slide the photo underneath. It says, so happy together. So those go in that pocket and then all the pages are pretty much the same. I used the sheet that had the 4x4 four four cutouts and then I used a Lawn Fawn stitched square die and then I put these on foam tape and then um, went ahead and added some more little enamel dots here and then I used a decorative corner punch from Stampin' Up! right here. This is uh, actually one of the, I think it was the 4x6 card and I cut it down so it would fit on this flap right here and then again another piece of ephemera here and then each one of them will have a little journal spot right here and and I, again this was actually a lawn fawn the rectangle stitched rectangle so I used the lawn fawn stitch squares and the stitched rectangles and they're both from lawn fawn and then this is the photo mat so she can put either one large photo here or two smaller photos here and then here is the back with design paper she could put two more photos or one large photo there so there is five pages in here. And on the back side, they all have a photo mat right here, some more ephemera pieces, a little kitty paws, and then another one that I just glued down right here so she can slide the photo underneath. So this one says Friends Forever. And again, I just lit, layered it on one of the um, stitched re rectangles that I die cut out. This is a little cute little kitty from the ephemera pack. Some more stickers from the sticker sheet. Again, here's another one of the white journaling spots right here, or she could put a picture here and journal here. Another um, piece of ephemera. And all the tags are gonna be white on this side, and then they're gonna have design paper on the back. Love the heart paper. This paper is so cute. The colors are just darling in here. They have a little dog version too, but the dog version is out of primary color, so these colors are super, super, super cute. Again, love the fish paper. And then I alternated my photo mats on the backs of the pages with white and then black. And then cute little fish bones right here. That's part of the ephemera. Again, another 4x4 cutout. Another piece of ephemera. And I left this in there, but she can pop this out and use it as a template to put a little picture in there if she wanted to. And then two more enamel dots. Another journal spot. Love the little kitty paper right there. And there's the back. And over here, again, another little word 
die cut from the ephemera pack. This is Meow, and again, I left it open, so hopefully it won't get too beat up before she can get her picture in there and glad glue down. Again, another little frame that I left open right there. Over here, again, another uh, four by four cut apart. Some more little enamel dots right here. I added a little strip of the border sticker here and the cute little white kitty there. Again, a journal spot. And there is the paper for this one. I love the border paper, so cute. Over here, again, I have the cute little tree that was a die cut and out of the ephemera pack. Another photo mat right here, and again, I left it open. Cute little um, sticker from the sticker sheet, and I put it on some black cardstock and used my scallop circle punch and punched around it. Another cute little cut apart, some more ephemera, or more enamel dots right here. Some more ephemera, again, another little frame. Two more little ephemera uh, hearts right here. Again, another place for journaling. And here's the back of this one. Super cute. Just darling. Love the colors in this collection. It was so cute. On the last page, again, another sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on black cardstock and used a scallop circle to punch around it. I fussy cut the word meow out of the border strip paper and put it on some black cardstock. Again, some more enamel dots right here. And on the back inside cover, I did ex exactly the same. I used the same little balls of yarn paper and then I made a belly band pocket using one of the 4x6 cards. I had one of the um, 4x4 cutouts left. So I made a little booklet right here, a couple places for photos, some more design paper on the back. Love the 4x6 card here with the cute little, the milk, the tune, and the sardines. And then again, I just, when I got done with everything, I took my scraps and I just started making little extra tags and journaling spots. And so she'll have lots of, lots of fun stuff to do. And um, I'll give her the rest of the sticker so that way after she gets her pictures in there, she can add whatever she wants. Another photo mat there. Love the little sticker here. Photo mat there. Again, I use my decorative punch for this one as well. I love this one. It says, check me out. <laughs> that was a sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some cardstock and popped it up. And there's the back. And this, again, is open. So those go back in there. So there you go, everybody. That's my little project that I created for my friend for her birthday using the Doodlebug Kitten Smitten design paper. So there you have it everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye!